So in this problem, we're told a baseball pitcher throws a baseball with a speed of 41 meters per second. Estimate the average acceleration of the ball during the throwing motion. In throwing the baseball, the pitcher accelerates the ball through a displacement of 3.5 meters from behind the body to the point where it is released. And so luckily here, we're given a diagram which is gonna help us solve. So let's just write down what we're given. So given, so let's start with, uh, we're told the pitcher throws a ball with a speed of 41 meters per second. So if this is him throwing the ball, this is him at the start, and then he travels 3.5 meters, and then this is when he throws the ball. So at the end of our, um, at the end of the distance traveled, he throws the ball, which is his um, final velocity, which is 41 meters per second. So at the end of the motion, he's throwing the ball at 41 meters per second. And so at here, which is going to be the initial velocity, which we represent by v sub zero, is going to be zero meters per second, right? Because it's right when it starts, and if it's right when it starts, he's not moving at all, so the ball isn't moving. And if the ball is not moving, it's going to be moving at zero meters per second, essentially. And then we're also told he travels a distance of 3.5 meters. And so delta x, which is just the change in position, so he changes in position 3.5 meters. So we're going to represent delta x by 3.5 meters. And then it's asking us for the average acceleration. So we're trying to solve for acceleration. So we're trying to solve for A. And then here I have the kinematic equations, which we use to solve for equations uh, with constant acceleration. So which one of these should we use? Well, keep in mind that of these variables, we're not given time. And so since we're not given time, all three of, our, all three of the top ones here contain time. So if we don't have time, we can't solve for acceleration. So it's not going to be any of these three. We're going to have to look at these, uh, the fourth one. So we're going to use this one to solve. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing is v squared. So we, we know v is 41. So it's 41 squared equals v sub 0 squared. And v sub, uh, v sub 0 is just 0, right? Our initial velocity, he's not moving. So it's 0 squared, which is just 0. I'm not going to write it, though. And then it's 2 times acceleration, which we don't know, so A times delta x. And we know delta x is the how much he travels, which is 3.5 meters. And so I'm going to multiply the 2 by the 3.5 and move it out front. So 2 times 3.5 is 7. So we have 41 squared equals 7A. And if we want to solve for A, we just divide by 7. So A equals 41 squared over 7. And so if you plug this in your calculator, you should get 240.14. And so what I'm going to do is just round to this place right here. So it's going to round down, so 240. So acceleration is going to be 240. And then the units we use is meters per second squared, right? Because velocity is meters per second. And then uh, on the bottom, it's going to be squared. So A equals 240 meters per second squared.